So this drives me crazy with uh, Apple's calendar app on the Mac. Uh, and I, I don't know what causes it. It doesn't happen all the time. It seems to happen a lot with me where I get an invite email uh, that's sent from whatever app, uh, from you know someone's using Outlook or someone's using Google Calendar or whatever. I end up with a meeting invite that goes into the wrong calendar and it doesn't let me change the calendar. Um, yeah. So like right now I, I'm off, off screen here. I'm looking at an email um, invite to a meeting. It's a business meeting. And um, first off, I know why that happened, but let's not go there. Um, you'll notice by default, it stuck in my home calendar. And if I go here, um, in a lot of cases, it doesn't let me, and especially in this case, it doesn't let me change the calendar. So you're kind of stuck. Now it's there, you accepted it, you're done. Um, and that's what drives me crazy. But you know, sometimes when I go to recreate this scenario, it does let me change it right here. So I'm not exactly sure what the cause is. Anyway, a um, couple things that I noticed that I can do. Um, first off is uh, you can duplicate this meeting, okay? And in the, sorry, in the duplicated meeting, you can now change it to the right calendar. But the only way to save this is to click send. And I don't want to notify all these people because now then they're going to have two meeting invites and they're going to be very confused. So what you end up having to do is delete everybody off the list and make this just about you. So now, I, well, I think I have to add myself as an invite. Oops, yeah. So let's do that again. You gotta take everybody off. Except for yourself. Send, it sends you yourself an invite, which is kind of silly, but whatever. Now you got two in here. So I will go and delete the original. Now the original's gone, and now I got this one set up. And it's just me and this one. So um, if the organizer of the original meeting uh, sends time changes down or whatever, you're going to get emails about the time change and you're going to need to make the change yourself um, because it's not going to be linked to this, I don't think. It's going to be linked to this um, this invite anymore. So that's one thing. The other thing I noticed, and I'm going to just delete this, is that uh, it adds it to when you get one of these and you double-click the, the ICS attachment to add it to your calendar. Um, on the Mac, and at least at least that's the way I do it. Um, it adds it to the first calendar in the list here. So for my case right now, I have it as home, and I don't need that. So I'm going to move this work up here to the top, so that because um, the majority of my invites are are work related. Now, if I double click that same one, it added it right into my work um, my work one for me automatically which makes more sense. And see, for some reason, now I can go and change it. But before I couldn't, when I was accepting it to home. So I'm not sure why that is. But it's just good to know that if a majority of your invites come through to a specific calendar, put that calendar first in the list. I, I don't, like, if you um, were to create, you know, a new event, um, if you were to create a new event, then it might uh, default to this one and you might have to change it to home, you know, but at least that's a way of dealing with um, getting stuck in that situation where you accepted it into the wrong calendar and there's, you can't figure out how to move it to the correct calendar. And that seems to work for me uh, for the most part and I hope that's helpful.